is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be fantasy booking WWE Clash of Champions 2020. The show is coming up on this Sunday. And to be honest with you, looking down the card, not that much to get excited about, to be honest with you. I will say there are, I, you know what, I, I'll say I, there are probably a couple matches. A couple matches are pretty exciting, and one of them I'm really thrilled about. Can't wait to see what we get out of that. We're going to get into all of that stuff, but let's go ahead and break it down, guys. These are pretty much the only matches that I really give a damn about. The rest, I will give you my thoughts and opinions on and give you my fantasy booking, you know, strategy, what I would do for the matches. Honestly, for the rest of the matches, probably wouldn't even do those matches if I were the head of WWE Creative because they're, they're, they're pretty much garbage. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you guys know, in the fantasy booking series, this is pretty much saying what I would do if, if, if we got to Clash of Champions and all the shit hit the fan and they were like, Brad, you gotta be in charge of, the, of this show. Who do you want want to win how would you book it moving forward this is pretty much that that that's what's taking place here today so i'm going to be the head of creative move the hell over vince brad i'm getting in here so guys starting off with the women's championship match bailey versus nikki cross what is this like nikki cross 858 smackdown championship match i'm going to say bailey retains here you know the main storyline for her is sasha Banks, so we can't i'm not going to get too much into that i don't think you know this is just another stepping stone on our road to our inevitable matchup so i really don't think nikki cross even stands a chance here. I'm going to go Bailey for the win. And then we're going to get into the Women's Tag Team Championship match between Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot taking on Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. I think Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler are transitional champions, so I'm going to say Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot win this matchup, and I'm going to book it that way. If I were a WWE, I would book it that way. Nia Jax is god-awful. Shayna Baszler is just boring to me. She just puts me to sleep, just like her finishing move. I just, uh, I'm getting choked out. <laughs> so I'm going to say that Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax drop the tag team championships to the Riot Squad and let let an actual women's tag team hold these belts. Now, if I was head of creative, belts would have been gone yesterday. But that's not what we're doing here today. We're, we're, we're focused on what we got on the card and how we book it. So, Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot will win the tag team championships. As far as Cesaro and Shinsuke versus the Lucha House Party for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura, if they don't retain these tag titles, I'm going to tie myself to three cinder blocks and jump in the swimming pool in my neighborhood. I am going to drown myself. There's no reason that Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura should lose those tag titles. There's no point in it. They should absolutely retain their championships. Lose your house party and get the hell out. And then the final matchup before we get into the main stuff that I'm actually interested in. The Street Profits, obviously Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford taking on Rollins and Murphy, Andrade and Angel Garza or Humberto and Dominic. Okay, first of all, Humberto and Dominic shouldn't even be a team. I think we're going to find out the number one contender tonight on Monday Night Raw. Now, to be honest with you, this is kind of just uh, this matchup, this number one contenders matchup is garbage. But I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna go with, I, I thought two of these teams already broke up. I thought we already had Tensions Flair in here, and Humberto and Dominic make no sense whatsoever. But I wouldn't put it past WWE to have them win and then challenge the Street Profits. Whoever wins, Street Profits are retaining. Even though I feel like they've done jack-ish with the tag titles, I'm big fans of the Street Profits. I would just like to see them defending the championships, getting getting them some, some repertoire up there. But I'm going to go with Street Profits to retain. Now let's shut the hell up and get into the main course of the card in this Clash of Champions fantasy booking video. Now another thing that I also read up on is Otis and the Money in the Bank contract. That contract apparently is going to be taken off of him and given to somebody else, so be on the lookout for that. I don't know how that's going to play into it, but let's get in, guys. Let's start off first with the big time matchup. Let's start off with the ladder match, this triple threat ladder match that is absolutely in Sanity. This is like some damn fantasy booking or pick fed stuff is this kind of matchup. So you got Jeff Hardy, the Intercontinental Champion, versus the returning Intercontinental Champion, you know, the, the self-proclaimed Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. And then we have AJ Styles. Now, this is some beautiful fantasy booking, but not only do, is it just a triple threat, guys, we have a ladder inserted into the mix. So we, we got the charismatic Enigma's favorite matchup, his specialty match. In a ladder match, Jeff Hardy versus Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles. Now, I'm very intrigued by this. All three of these men can absolutely go. We've seen AJ Styles and Money in the Bank matches. I mean, do I even have to say what the hell Jeff Hardy's done in a ladder match? And then Sami Zayn, he has not only in the indies had some great ladder wars with Kevin Steen, Kevin Owens, and he has also been in some sick-ass Money in the Bank and ladder matches himself. If you guys remember WrestleMania 32 2016, that ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship to kick off the show, best best match on the, on the card. They absolutely tore the house down. I miss babyface Sami Zayn. That's all I'm going to say about that. But 
in this matchup, guys, I think I would have to, I, if I were booking it this way, I think I would have Jeff Hardy retain, you know? I, I felt like, you know, Sami Sammy Zayn is great as a heel. I think AJ Styles is good where he is, but I think that Jeff Hardy needs to retain unless he's just getting the hell out of the company. If he's getting that, if there's no reason for him to lose this championship, and he, I, I would book Jeff Hardy to hold on to it. I feel like he just got it. He hasn't done enough with it just yet, and I want to build Jeff Hardy back up. I want them to make it where Jeff Hardy builds up so much that we get a Roman Reigns versus Jeff Hardy match eventually for the Universal Championship, maybe at the Royal Rumble. I could see that taking place, so I'm going to go Jeff Hardy to retain in his specialty match. You know, it's what he does best, but these guys are going to put on a hell of a show. These, are, these guys are going to put on a hell of a show. I'm super excited for it, and I'm going to go with Jeff Hardy. That's how I would book it. You know, freaking fantastic spots. I think we know what we're going to get out of this matchup. I think Jeff Hardy is definitely going to win. I, I expect just madness in this matchup, but that is a very, very interesting one right there, but I am going to have Jeff Hardy win. Next up, we have the Cousins. We got Roman Reigns defending his Universal Championship versus Jey Uso here. Now, now I, I think a lot of people are excited for this matchup, and I'm actually intrigued to see. You know, we've seen Jey tear the house down in many tag team matches, and he can go by himself. I think he can go by himself. I don't know if you guys watched Friday Night Smackdown last week, but after the, the show ended, I think Roman and Jey were in a tag team match together, and then they ended up winning or something like that, and Roman Reigns and him, you know, they were smiling, and Jey Uso picked up the Universal Championship, and he was running around the ring with it, looking all smiling. He was about to hold it up, and then he tossed it at Roman, and they hugged it out, and they were, you know, being brothers and hugging and smiling and laughing, and when Jay got out of the ring and walked off, Roman just face, he went from super smiley to like, what the, you, you, you know that LeBron gif? If you guys have ever seen that LeBron gif on Twitter where he's in the Miami Heat, where it's like, you know, he's about to come back, and he's about to, he's about to mess some people up, that's the kind of face that Roman Reigns was, Roman Reigns was making, man. So if I'm fantasy booking this matchup, given what I know, what I've already seen on Friday's Night Smackdown, guys, I'm going to say Roman Reigns buries Jey Uso. He doesn't bury him, but he beats the hell out of him. I think Roman Reigns needs to take out Jey, and I think he needs to send a message to the rest of the locker room, and he needs to take out Jey Uso and just implement that heel status. Like, beat up Jey, make it look ugly, dominate him, and then maybe even after the matchup, proceed to beat the hell out of him. I would have Roman Reigns assert his dominance over Jey Uso, beat the absolute hell out of this man, and, and call it a day. I think it should be pretty much, not a burial, not a complete burial, but he should dominate him. I think Roman should dominate Jay and, you know, get, get, get just est just establish how strong Roman Reigns is and Paul Heyman as a duo there. That is what needs to be done. Make the Universal Championship something prestigious here and, you know, lift that thing up. I feel like it's been in the freaking dump forever. Now that Roman Reigns has it, we need to mean it, make it mean something, so I would have Roman destroy Jay Uso even after the matchup, beat the hell out of him, and that's how I'd book that one. Absolutely. No, no doubts about it. So, that is our Universal Championship match. Now, if we get into the last matchup, which I don't know which is going to main event, but the last matchup we have, guys, is Drew McIntyre taking on Randy Orton. Now, this one is, is pretty much a blood feud. I feel like every match that Randy Orton has is a blood feud because he's such a dick. But anyways, you guys can see here we do have our ambulance. We got our trusty slam ambulance. You can pick it up at Target using promo code MDTOYS. Just kidding. They don't have a promo code, but if they did, you better use mine. Anyways, Drew McIntyre taking on Randy Orton in an ambulance match. If I'm booking this matchup, guys, I honestly, you know what? I, I really, uh, I really, really, really want to take the title off of Drew McIntyre, but he has beaten Randy Orton, and Randy Orton got pretty much smacked by Keith Lee. So in all good honesty, I cannot put the championship on Randy Orton after he got destroyed by Keith Lee. Unless Randy Orton is going to be a transitional champion, Randy Orton will win the championship and then transition it over to Keith Lee. That's the only thing that would make sense to me if they were going to do it that way. I don't think I would want to see it that way. You know, it looked like Drew and Randy were pretty even in their matchups, and Keith Lee made Randy Orton look like an absolute bitch. So, I, I honestly, I, I think if I'm booking it this way, unless you have two ways to look at it. If you're booking Randy Orton as a transitional champion, champion, then Drew McIntyre is going in the ambulance. But if you're not going to do that, if you want Randy Orton to hold on to the championship for a little bit and Keith Lee, you know, is going to come back and they're going to feud for the title, then uh, then I would have Randy Orton get in the ambulance and just have Drew retain and then build up something else. I think I said that correctly. I may have effed it all up. You guys get what I'm saying. If Randy Orton's going to be a transitional champion, Drew get in the ambulance. If not, Randy get in the ambulance and, and let's do something else. Unless the whole plan is to get Keith Lee, the, the WWE 
WWE Championship, which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Not at this juncture. I feel like he needs to be, you know, worked up just a little bit. I know he's had some great moments with Roman Reigns and then the Royal Rumble and everything, but I don't know if I'd pull the trigger just yet. But if I'm fantasy booking it, if it's up to me, you know what, Brad? I said that Drew McIntyre should be champion until we get full crowds back, but nah. Drew McIntyre. Get, you know what? Where's my stretcher? Where's my damn stretcher, Brad? Gotta get the ultimate one, not the freaking flimsy dimsy one. I want the nice white one. Get this hoe, load him in the back of the ambulance here. Yeah, that's what you get. And then we and then we close the doors. Don't they have to close the doors? I don't think just putting them in the back actually does it. And mine's kind of falling apart because I kind of was messing with it and doing some different things. But there you go. Randy Orton, WWE Champion, and uh, Jey Uso not becoming WWE Champion. So if I'm fantasy booking it, Randy Orton is your WWE Champion. Roman Reigns retains the Universal Championship because obviously that, that makes the most sense. He dominates Jey Uso. And then Jeff Hardy retains because that's his specialty match, man. I mean, what do you want from me? But Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the fantasy booking video of Clash of Champions 2020. I am actually excited for a few of these matches, you know. These are mainly the three that I'm mainly excited for. But, you know, when I'm sleeping on matches, they usually wake me the hell up. And I'm like, oh, shoosh. That's a pretty good football game going on. So, I don't know. We'll see about that. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.